All right, guys, we have one more thing to go over, and then we'll be done with our headiest week. <laughs> a lot of information this week. It's totally fine if uh, some of it was glazed over a little bit for you. Um, this, again, is going to be the type of week that you can refer back to as needed. Um, but next, I wanted you to just see one more time, creating a new session. We're going to create a blank session this time. Uh, so I make sure that create from template is deselected. I'm going to name this session track types because that is what we're going over. I'm going to change this to 24 bit. I want it to prompt me for location. All right, create. I'm going to put this in my, I have it organized as my Pro Tools 20, 2022. All right, here's our blank session. So again, uh, you could go to track and hit new, or you could do shift apple n. That's what I'm gonna do, shift apple n. So there are five track types. One of them we're not gonna be using, but I'm gonna show you what it is anyway. So, um, and funny enough, only four of them are found in this window because the one of them is the click track window, which is under track. I'll show you that again. Uh, first thing you want to decide is, is this track that I'm making going to be mono or stereo? If you are making a vocal audio track, your one mono voice, the mono source is your microphone. So uh, one microphone, one voice, mono, um, audio track. It's going to be in samples, uh, not ticks. Ticks has more to do with uh, MIDI instruments. And then I'm going to name it vocal track. Um, actually, I'm going to say, let's make three vocal tracks, right? Um, next, I'm going to make an auxiliary track, which is going to be stereo. And these are going to be the tracks that I use to do two things. Either special effects like reverb, delay, um, any other fun effects we'll go over. Um, but the other location is like vocal chain. Um, auxiliary. So the reason I make a vocal, a vocal chain on an auxiliary track is to pretty much to save CPU power. So this is a CPU optimization moment brought to you by the auxiliary track. Um, I made three vocal tracks, right? Instead of putting my EQ, my compression, um, my de and things like that onto this each individual vocal track, vocal audio track, I'm gonna make one aux input, aux track, and I'm gonna put the EQ compression, uh, de-esser, et cetera, onto that one track. I'm gonna bus all of my vocal tracks to that one auxiliary so that I'm not loading up my session with, two, with lots and lots of plugins. So they're all gonna use the same EQ. They're all gonna use the same compressor, um, and that's gonna save me a lot of power. The next track I'm gonna make is my master fader. And my master is gonna be stereo um, so that I can handle all of the different uh, panning left and right uh, of my background vocals. Um, so we get a stereo a stereo MP3. You're gonna definitely want a stereo MP3 or wave when you're done. Um, a mono would be everything smashed into center. Your master fader, think master whole session, like Omni, the entire session. So if I were to turn the, if I were actually to pull the master fader down and turn down the volume, it would be turning down the overall volume of everything in the session. Um, even though I can independently control volumes of individual tracks, the master fader controls the overall sound of everything. I'm not going to make this kind of track, but I'm just gonna show you what it is. If you do get into producing, um, you're actually not gonna go with MIDI tracks, you're gonna go with instrument tracks to, to uh, program your MIDI. It's kind of confusing, but um, always just make an instrument track and then you'll put your instrument plugin right on there and you will be able to play in MIDI um, and instrument tracks automatically change to ticks, right? All right, cool. Um, you're probably going to want, unless it's like a bass that's like a single sound, uh, for the most part, most of your instruments are probably going to be stereo. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. And I'm just going to create, and there they are. I have my three um, Pro Tools automatically color-coded these for me, 
Uh, I don't like those colors, so I'm gonna go uh, window, color palette, and I'm gonna go tracks. I'm just gonna turn them all pink. <laughs> and if I wanna just control one, um, I would have to uh, select that, and so you just click on it. They were all selected, by the way, just to let you know. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select all of them and deselect all of them again. So what I'm gonna do is hold shift, and then I'm gonna click the bottom one, and that's gonna select them all. Um, and if I want to unselect them all, um, I can do option and then click. Option does um, whatever function I'm telling it to do, it does it to all of them that are, uh, it does it to all of them in the whole session. Um, if I want to just deselect one, that's actually command click. Okay, quick little navvy on selecting. <laughs> and then of course, um, you're gonna want to make your click track and for some reason it's not in the create a new track window, it's in its own space, which is under the track menu at the bottom. So your homework this week is gonna set you up for next week. So by this week, I would like you to open up a new session save it to your external hard drive and create an audio track, a click track, and a master fader and set up your tempo. By the way, if you drop something in uh, to this gray area at the bottom, it'll just automatically make a new track and that it automatically even knows that this is a stereo track. Um, so it made me a new stereo audio track. If you wanna uh, drop in some you know, temporary instrumental, not that you need to be using it, and work on that tap tempo. Ooh, I'm gonna do what I learned and I'm gonna add my MIDI controls here so I can do my tap tempo. And I can tap along and find what the, tap, the tempo of this is. And um, otherwise, just decide what tempo your uh, song is, your hypothetical song will be in, so, and uh, change that tempo. That's your homework assignment. That'll get you set up to go through our tour of the mix window next week. And we will start talking about what I was, what I was mumbling about, sending stuff all around. Um, we'll go into buses, sends, inserts, auxiliary things, um, and all of that will be super demystified. And we're really gonna go into signal flow uh, which was the one concept that I had the hardest time with. So um, I am so excited to share the information I have with you in the way that I understand it. So till next week, see you soon.